Jimmy John's kind of has this interesting flavor with the mayo and the bread that it doesn't taste like anything else. It may not taste like anything else because it just tastes like nothing. I don't know, it just <laughs> it tastes Ooh. like cardboard to me, man. Thanks for clicking on that video, but I got a quick sponsor drop for you guys. Um, you know, I know you might be stuck at home and you wanna get away from the news. One of the things that I've been doing is playing with my friends on this new free app called Bunch. Bunch allows you to play free games while video chatting with your friends, killing two birds with one stone. It's super simple to use and it's zero dollars. They have everything from charades to Mars Dash and it also has classics like Monopoly, Scrabble, Fortnite, and so many more. So if you guys are interested, download the Bunch app at that link down below. Invite your friends. What's going on everybody? Welcome to a very, very special sub sandwich showdown. Woo! We have got the six major American sub sandwich chains in front of us and we are going to be definitively figuring out which one is the champion. Guys, we got Subway, we got Quiznos, we got Jimmy John's, we got Togo's, we got Jersey Mike's, we got Firehouse subs. We're gonna be doing this tournament style, so maybe this is the sandwich six. The sub I mean, six, I don't know what you want to call it. David, who are the competitors in round one? Old rivals, we've got Subways versus Quizno. Wow. These two, these are the big, this is like McDonald's versus Burger King, UNC versus Duke. So Subway focuses on it being made fresh while Quiznos definitely focuses on the flavor and the hot subs. Two sandwiches each. Number one, Turkey Club. Number two, Italian. These are the two best sandwiches to compare. In my opinion, probably really the two go-to at any sandwich spot. Subway, Subway Turkey, Turkey Club. Club. Pretty this, solid. This one's definitely missing some mayo. Yeah. It's, uh, they have it in there, but it's light. Definitely better than I thought it was going to be. But I still get that... Uh, I don't know if you guys get this, when you eat Subway, there's that like certain taste, certain smell that comes with a Subway bread. So that's definitely coming in a little bit. Are you talking about the chemical? Yeah. I feel like that is one of the main criticisms about Subway is their bread. Yeah. You know what happens sometimes with Subway? Because they squeeze on the condiments, um, it doesn't always hit all parts of the sandwich well. Because it's not like smearing it. Smear it. Quiznos, Quiznos turkey. turkey. Okay, right off the bat, it's obviously, you know, the famous Quiznos toasted sub. Oh, that's better. That's way better. It's way better. Quiznos, for this turkey club, 950 versus 1250. That's a 33% price increase. I will pay the $3 extra though for Quiznos because the meat is of higher quality. The bread doesn't have that chemical taste and the spread that they use for it actually adds a lot of flavor for it. Where in case of Subway, I didn't really get anything coming from that one. Subway, Subway Italian. That's good though. It's That's good. still good. Mm, it's good, yeah. but like the first thing that I get it, like I said, is that chemical like taste of the bread. I know what you mean, but once you get into the meat of it, the salami and the pep, it's actually really good. Yeah, the, the flavor kind of overpowers that. Yeah, sometimes I feel like Subway sandwiches have a little bit too many vegetable ingredients and it kind of takes away from the actual sandwich. Big. I, to be honest, at Subway, will stay away from the green bell peppers. I think you should. I think they're way too powerful and they're way too watery. Yeah, they do. That's my tip. Quiznos Italian. Italian. Woo! I see some pepper cheap banana peppers in here. Oh, I see some dark olives. Mm. Mm -hmm. The quality is just miles ahead. Wow. So this, I think the difference is closer on this one though. Mm. I actually think it's further away on this one. I really? Think, yeah, I like ah. I like the inclusion of the banana peppers, pepperoncini in this. Um, and then the bread is just a higher quality as well. Ah, man, this wasn't as good as I thought. No. It, actually, the pepperoni to me is not as spicy. There was the Subway, the Subway Italian was much spicier. To me, there's the price factor. So for me, I'll pay the extra $3 for the better quality. So that's Quiznos overall. David? Yo, overall, I'm going with Subway. Ah! And I, dude, trust me, it was a close one for me, but I'm going with Subway. Okay, okay. Andrew, 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 you, it's a split decision. Subway! Whoa! Buy a hair, buy a hair, trust me. Quiznos. What is this art? <laughs> <laughs> Benson, don't be mad, man. We got more rounds Yo, to go. Ben, I think Benson's about to, after this video, he's gonna go write up a blog about some conspiracy theory <laughs> while we're like in a coup to, to just cause we're the Funk right. Brothers. I, it is true, our taste might be somewhat similar, but 
I'm not doing this just to just to I'm beat just you, saying, right? I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying. I'm, going, I'm not I'm trying just, to beat you out. I'm doing it on purpose. I'm doing this taste test. Which sandwich tastes better to me? And I picked the one. That is that's fair. fair. That's no, fair no, no. Analysis. You know what? I'm not. It was valid. It was valid. Subway wins round one. All right. I don't think anybody's super mad at that. <clears throat> Fun fact that like three out of these six spots were started by a guy named Jimmy or Mike. Italian Jimmy nightclub. Jones. No, Jimmy Johnson. Oh, no. Sorry, 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 this is the turkey. Uh, <laughs> no, no, what is it called? No, it's called, what's the name? There's, all right, so for round two, we have a battle of the Midwest. We got Jimmy John's from Illinois and Togo's from Michigan. Jimmy John's has a special place in many college kids' hearts, especially mine. This is the sub sandwich that I ate the most in college. I used to get the bread that was day old for only 50 cents. They give you a long roll. So you say you're biased? I'm just yeah, saying, you're biased. Biased. Just you basically that. express your bias. Jimmy, Jimmy John's, John's Beach Club. Club. Mm. Not mayo. feeling it. Very, very mayo forward. Yeah. Mm. Not, not. No, no turkey flavor in my opinion. Not at all. Probably like an empty sandwich. Yeah. Okay. It, it tasted oh. like a cucumber salad sandwich. Okay, that's fair. You know what? The turkey, it really wasn't that great, but you know what that was probably missing was the Jimmy John peppers. The peppers make the sandwich? The meat and the veggies make the sandwich <laughs> and the bread. Togo's, Togo's turkey. turkey. Mm. Not fire, but way better. Not fire though. Not fire. I think for turkey, to be honest, because turkey doesn't have that strong of a flavor, adding too much avocado doesn't add that much to it. I kind of just mashed it a little yeah. bit. Benson, you for Joyzy, what do you think about Midwest trying to do the sub sandwiches? You're not from the East Coast, you ain't gonna do a sandwich right. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Italian accent right there. Hey, Irish and Italian people kind of got a little a little riff, right? Uh, a little no, bit, I, I wouldn't say that they're not like, uh, they're not the best homies. I mean, we, we ain't hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy John's Italian. Better. It's better than the than the turkey, but it's still super mayo forward. Not, not There's a lot of mayo. I don't even gotta eat the whole thing, man. Nah, I'm good. Togo's so so Italian. Italian. Mm. To be honest, also not not not, not good. good. No. It does have more flavor, but that's mostly coming from the pepperoncinis. No, the guys, Italian. No, you guys. Jimmy John's took it on the Italian, but overall. Overall, I, I might have to give it to Jimmy John's. I might give it to Jimmy John's. Yeah, Jimmy John's, Jimmy I'm John's. saying. Jimmy John's kind of has this interesting flavor with the mayo and the bread that it doesn't taste like anything else. That's my just, opinion. It, yeah, it may, it may not taste like anything else because it just tastes like nothing. I don't know, it just it tastes Ooh. like cardboard to me, man. <laughs> Yo. Anyways, Jimmy John takes it by hair. <laughs> So we've got Jersey Mike's turkey versus the Firehouse turkey. Firehouse, Firehouse turkey. turkey. Club on a sub. Sweet. Mm. That bacon. I feel like there's a... like honey bacon. Okay, this was good, but it totally tasted different. Yeah. It had that Florida vibe. Florida has its own flavor is what you're trying it to say. It was good. It was good. It was sweet, but... um. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't. I just don't know if it was what it I was. It was all right. It was all right. To be honest, I could taste the quality, but I didn't really love the taste. Jersey Mike's turkey. turkey. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Man, this was the sandwich I was looking to eat all competition long. This heavy this is herbs. A good sandwich. Heavy herbs. Heavy herbs, but there's a good proportion of meat to vegetables to schmear to bread. I think it's the mm. most complete, perfect sandwich I've had so far. It's all been seasoned with like pepper and oregano, all on the Firehouse Italian. Italian. Okay. Oh. This is super this sweet. Is, this is not an Italian. It kind of tastes like a honey ham. Like, no, like a honey baked ham sandwich. Yeah, this is not an Italian sandwich. If it's not from a honey baked place, 
It's not a honey baked ham. Because it has way too much honey baked ham, it's overpowering the pepperoni and the salami here. Bam! Come on, Joey! <laughs> Yo, is that Pecorino on Joey. there? Joey! Is that Pecorino? <laughs> Gotta give it to Italians, man. They have their own uh, special Italian American culture. Jersey Mike's Italian. Mm. It's good. Yeah. This is what an Italian should taste like. Capicola, salami, cheese. I would say maybe the only thing I could I could use more mayo for me. I'm good without the mayo. Thought it was like a notch too much herbs, but overall it was better than Firehouse for sure. I mean Jersey Mike's is like sort of like I don't know I'm gonna say like the Popeyes. Yeah. It's the number one seed. I mean besides having like the best ingredients, I think the sandwich was also constructed the best in terms of each ratio, like the capicola to the salami to the vegetables to the vinaigrette, like everything was well yeah. constructed. Guys, I think the winner of this round is Jersey Mike's. In this final round of the six sub sandwich showdown, we have Subway, Jimmy John's, and Jersey Mike's Turkey, Turkey Championship. Championship. Let's go Subway first. One bite. Huh? It's, it's, you know, it's like a pizza salad. It's good. Look at that. I mean, it's a sandwich. Jimmy, Jimmy John's. John's. It was just like an off flavor in it. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. I think the um, I think the avocado is getting down. a little bitter. Man, that wasn't great either, but. No, I, I think it, it I think Jimmy John's turkey is like there's something wrong with swag, that turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like it wasn't even about the bacon. Right. Just... Okay, last round, Jersey Mike's. Oh, if that had mayo, it would have been hands down. It's still hands down. Like, there's no question to me that this is the best turkey club sandwich out of three. Yeah. Is it because you're from Jersey? And you know a mic? You cannot do this every video. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying it happens to be oh, that you with happen bias. to pick the ones that you personally are connected to. Uh, overall, right. overall, guys, we, we gotta give we gotta give it to Jersey Mike's though. Final round, round Italians. Italians. This is uh, Donnie, Polly, and uh, Vincenzo. Yeah, we, we got Joey, Donnie, and Polly. Subway, Subway Italian. Italian. It's good. Their salami and pepperoni, I'm not saying it's that high quality, but it tastes good. Yeah. I, I might be a 4.5. I'm going to give it a 3.5. I give it a 3.5. Jimmy John's! Oh. oh. Man, I think for me, Andrew, I know you are such a big proponent of Jimmy John's. I have never really liked Jimmy John's meat. I don't know, man. I think the bread tastes kind of cardboard. Yeah, it just has a good look. Has a nice look. It's kind of shiny. I would say is. I would say how like pale and white it looks is kind of unnatural too. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. It's baked fresh daily. Yes. Don't let anybody tell you what to think. True. Hey, Even I with thought... Jimmy John's, whack. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I got your back, man. Joycey Mike. No, it was close with the subway. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, it's kind of close with the subway. Like, like surprisingly close. Fair. Guys, overall, overall, Jersey Mike's or Subway. Granted, the quality generally you might give it to Jersey Mike's, but convenience, speed, and price, I give to Subway. So for me, I'm judging this contest over what was the better sandwich. I don't care about the price. I'm gonna go with Jersey Mike's because it tastes better, in my opinion. But here's a hot take. Hot take! Go to your local bodega, go to your local downtown. Ah! Because they do the sandwiches better than they do, and for cheaper. Before I give my tie-breaking decision, we have to just sample real quick the Subway macadamia nut cookie. Best cookie of the fast food chains, period. I do want to talk about just my last Jimmy John's plug. They <laughs> have their own <laughs> chips, dog. As far as today goes, <laughs> I got to give it to Subway. Wait. As far as today, <laughs> oh, hold on, let me just help. <laughs> Let me, let me qualify. Let me qualify. Let me qualify this. Let me qualify this. Let me qualify this. I recall you picking the Jersey Mike's over Subway. When we, did we gotta give it to Jersey Mike's though. Hey man, I just thought about it, okay? <laughs> I had to think, okay? I was thinking, and then I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was kind of swayed by the macadamia nut cookie. Too. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Jeez, <laughs> that's why you ate all the right, cookie all right, first. All right, all right. That's so, the way the all right, cookie all right. You know what? Do I? Hold on, hold on. Hold on.
A pick Jersey Mike's. Wow. Oh, oh, I picked Jersey oh, Mike's, oh, but it was like, I picked Jersey Mike's, but it was so Did you just dead euro close. step in and was, out of the paint? It, it was so dead close. <laughs> Congratulations for picking the correct side. So there you have it. Jersey Mike's narrowly beats out Subway. Price taken into consideration. Try your mom and pop sandwich spots, guys. Check them out, especially during these times. Small businesses need your support. All right, everybody, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications, and in the comments down below, let us know another food battle tournament that you would like to see because these are really fun. It's great to debate things. Yo, shout out to Ryan. Check out his information down below where the fun grows. And until next time, we out. Peace. So, Benson, you're saying you never had a Guido phase growing up in Jersey? Because um, that, that is one of the dominant cultures in New Jersey, right? Is the Guido, like, I mean, you, know, you never try to fit in with them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I looked a little bit different.